Hi and welcome to another episode of Toby's Barbecue Corner. Today we're making a porchetta on the rotisserie with homemade rosemary potatoes. Now what you need for it and how to do it, I'm going to show you in this episode. And this is what we need for today. Now obviously for our porchetta we need a pork belly and this is roughly 1.5 kgs from der Ludwig, so hashtag Ludwig on fire. Um, we need a couple of cloves of garlic, um, we need a little bit of pine nuts, we need some butcher's twine, we need some wild garlic, you need some olive oil. Now this olive oil is infused with garlic, uh, but obviously you can use regular olive oil as well. You need some fish sauce or numpla, you need some juniper berries, you need a couple of twigs of thyme, you need a bio orange, you need some fennel seeds, you need uh, some rosemary obviously with the corresponding potatoes as well as some coarse salt. Right, let's take care of the rosemary potatoes first. So obviously what you want to do is you want to take your rosemary and just simply strip it off the stems. Very simple and obviously depending on how many uh, rosemary potatoes you're making you need more or less uh, rosemary but you do need some rosemary later on inside the porchetta as well. So leave some to the side and uh, let me just show you really quickly how to do it. So you strip them and then you just give it a, a rough chop and set it to the side. And then with the potatoes depending on the size that you have all you want to do is you want to cut it in little chunks. Obviously the smaller they are the quicker they will fry up later on in the barbecue but we will put them underneath the pochetta as well so that they absorb all that lovely flavor that drips down from the pochetta. So all we do is we throw them into a little pan and then we're going to put the rosemary on it later on but I'll show you how. Potatoes are cut so all you need to do is put some of that olive oil on the top, make sure they're nicely coated and then we're going to take that rosemary and sprinkle it liberally on top and then as I said it's gonna go right underneath our pochetta to cover or to get covered in those lovely juices that are gonna drip down. Right the potatoes are taken care of so we're gonna take care of the meat. So now obviously you do notice it's not entirely square it's a bit rectangular so this is the longer side this is the shorter side. So we're going to cut it open just like this until we reach about a two finger um, wide spot over here and then we flip it over so we can roll it on uh, or we can roll it nicer so just make sure that you, you can see where the skin kind of like overlaps so it's like this side so it will be easier to cut this way and then what you want to do is you want to try to hit it fairly center um, because obviously you want to avoid cutting into the either the uh, the skin or um, the flesh underneath and create any holes but what I'm also going to do is I'm going to scar it a little bit on the top very gently and when you do that you don't have to do that so this is entirely optional but just scar the top of the skin do not cut into the meat so this one was already a bit too deep now what this will do is it will create enough space for the salt later on to stick to um, you know to, to give it that nice crispiness that we're looking for. So let's have a quick look how we're gonna do this because you can see you know here um, this is where uh, the rib the rib bone were and just make sure that you don't have any cartilage left in it just like this one for example so you obviously you want to take that out prior. All right, all done. So I did find two or three different pieces that I didn't like in there. So now what we're going to do is you're going to, you know, you can cover it with your hand. And what you want to do is you want to make an incision and try to stay fairly even to the cutting board and your hand. Follow through and then just continue. So I'm going to finish this off. I'm going to show you the final product. All right, all done. As you can tell, I've also taken the top part. So basically, you know, when you fold it back, it looked like this, right? So what I've done is I've also loosened this up, moved it across as well. And now we have a nice long porchetta to stuff on the inside and really roll it nice and tight. Now for the next step, we're going to give the pine nuts 
as well as the juniper berries, berries sorry, the garlic as well as the fennel seeds, a little bit of a roasting. Just make sure you don't roast it too much because you just want a little bit of color on it. Right, the garlic, the fennel, the juniper berries as well as the pine nuts have gotten some color. We're going to put them in a pestle and mortar. Obviously you can use a, uh, a blender as well. But for the purpose of today, I'm going to be using the pestle and mortar. Alright, there we go. All there. We're going to add in the wild garlic, a little bit of the rosemary and a little bit of coarse salt and then we're going to create a nice little paste. Now we're ready to prepare our meat so what I like to do is you know take the paste that we've just created and spread it quite liberally all across the meat. Just like that. You make sure that it goes everywhere. And then you can also, you know, use your fingers, make sure that it really spreads, you know, get it there, press it on a little bit. Very nice. Then what I like to do is I like to take the zest of um, our orange, you know, give it a little bit of some freshness to it, as well as a little bit of color. <laughs> I think orange zest works extremely well with our porchetta. And then last but not least, our little secret ingredient, the numpla. Now be a little careful because it is rather potent. So what I like to do is I like to drizzle it through a uh, yeah the basting brush basically to make sure it doesn't drip everywhere and then that's it and now let's roll this up and what you want to do is obviously you want to start from the side where the meat is only you know you can pull it towards you a little bit and then fold it over, roll it in, and then just continue in the same fashion. It's obviously a bit slippery with all the fat, but what we want to end up with is to have the majority of the meat covered in our skin on the outside, basically just like that. And now we're going to use the butcher twine and create a nice little package. Now as a word of advice, um, you know, do individual uh, pieces of butcher twine, not like one long one where you just uh, basically do do one um, um, kind of like one knot after the other because once you start cutting, this will all fall apart. So I really suggest you do one and one and one and one and one. So how do we do this? Fairly simple, you just take a little bit of butcher's twine you go in the center and I always like to start from the center um, simply because there you can pack it nice and tight just like that and then you do the outer ones and then you're good to go and you can create as many slices as you want
And obviously what you need to try as well is try to get it as uniform as possible, simply because then it cooks nice and evenly. All done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the salt, as I said earlier, and we're going to rub it into the skin. You know, and then we're going to set it to the side until we're ready to cook. All the prep work is done. So what we're going to do now is take in some water, put some salt in it, as well as some thyme. And we're now going to cook the meat, skin down in the salted water. And it's very important that it is salted water for about an hour because we want the collagen to stay in the meat and keep it nice and moist. Right, the pochetta is on the rotisserie, the potatoes are underneath and we're now going to let that rotate, let's see, about an hour and a half to two hours and then it should be done. Exactly two hours later, we're done. And let's make the sound test. I hope you can hear this. So let's do the center cut. And there we go guys. This is our porchetta with rosemary potatoes on the rotisserie and we're gonna dig in now. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video about the uh, porchetta from the rotisserie with rosemary potatoes. As you could tell, we made a quick uh, me noodle salad uh, along with it, but uh, yeah, that was just a spur of the moment kind of thing. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. Please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And I hope to see you soon again at Toby's Barbecue Corner.